Okay, I'm here in the NASA booth with Jared Daum, and he is, believe it or not, the expert on the parachute deployment system for the Orion capsule. So I was hoping I could get a little uh, little discussion with you, Jared, on how this whole system's working and how it's going. Absolutely. How are you doing today? I'm excellent, thank you. Um, so I guess I can tell you a little bit about Orion, first of all, a little bit about SLS, which is our new rocket, and then most importantly, for me at least, the parachute system. All right. Um, so we've got Orion here. Orion's our next generation spacecraft. It's going to take four astronauts to Mars. Uh, we might make some quick stops at the moon first just to test out our systems, um, build a deep space gateway around the moon, and then eventually send our, send our astronauts to Mars in the 2030s. So Orion looks a lot like Apollo, but it's much bigger. Uh, we've got four astronauts on board, as I mentioned. It sits atop um, SLS right here. So you can see there's a little guy, little Orion. That's this guy. That's this guy, yep. And uh, that is a, is a small section view of our larger rocket here. So this is what SLS will look like on the pad. SLS is one of the, or the most powerful rocket uh, built to date, and it'll launch for the first time with Orion next year in December 2019. Just to give me a feel for the size, can you tell me how, how powerful that is relative to Saturn V? Sure, so it's more powerful than Saturn V, about the same size in terms of the, uh, the height. Okay. Um, so we've got new technologies, um, better materials, so we can build a more efficient, powerful rocket than we could. Excellent, okay. So parachute system, let me tell you yes. about that. Um, so our astronauts are gonna go to the moon, they're gonna go to Mars, we gotta bring them back. And that's where these parachutes come into play. Um, so Orion's got 11 parachutes on board. Um, they're all packed up here in the forward bay. Three of them are used to lift off the cover and they look a lot like this one. So this is the smallest parachute we have on board. This is about 60 square feet. So our parachutes range from this size up to our largest. We have three main parachutes and those are each 11,000 square feet. So cover five or six houses. You know, they're, they're pretty big. So these smaller parachutes lift up those larger parachutes so that we can have a nice safe landing about 20 miles per hour so our crew is nice and safe in the water when they come home. Splash down at 20. How does that compare to say Apollo's uh, It's very speed. similar, very similar. So Orion uh, is much bigger, it weighs a lot more. So the parachutes are thus much bigger. Um, so we need larger drag area to produce the, the force we need to counteract the additional weight of the vehicle. And can you tell me about how far through testing of the parachute system you are? Excellent question. So uh, we've gone through about 17 development tests where we test the parachutes. We go out to Yuma, Arizona, toss out a uh, small scale capsule of Orion out of the back of a C-17 and run through the entire parachute sequence. Gather lots of video data, uh, lots of telemetry based on the, the speed, the altitude, the attitude of the vehicle uh, to learn about what we need to change. Uh, we change the parachutes through each one of those tests to make them better and now we're in the qualifi qualification phase. So after those 17 tests we now have a series of eight tests in which we are not changing anything but we're, we're proving that these parachutes work in all the various conditions that we need. So for instance uh, SLS uh, we got this launch abort system here on top. So if there's an issue, whether it's on the pad, like we see behind us, or anywhere on the ascent of the vehicle, and we need to get the crew off safely, uh, this, this ascent abort system will pull the crew off. These parachutes need to work in a wide range of conditions, whether it's from the pad at zero speed, zero altitude, all the way up to nominal re-entry coming back from Mars. So we need to test this at uh, various corners of the box, as we call it, of our requirements to make sure that the entire parachute system works any time we would need it. Just to give us a feel for how fast this system is, is traveling down yep. as the first parachute deploys. Do you know what that speed is, Rob? Yeah, it's about 350 miles an hour. So coming back from Mars, we're at about 20,000 miles an hour. But the, uh, the drag from the heat shield here, the blunt body, and the friction with the atmosphere slows us down from that 20,000 miles per hour down to about 350. And at about 350 miles per hour is when we start deploying our parachutes. Got it. Okay. Fantastic. And the par have the tests been rather successful thus far? Yes, very successful. It must be if you're now at the final configuration and doing qual testing. Absolutely. You know, as an engineer, you can always look to make things better, yeah. uh, but that can be... You uh, also have to freeze at some point, absolutely. right? Right. So we freeze, we've frozen at a, at a point that we like. Um, we know that it works well, and now we're just proving that uh, so that we can certify it for human use. Okay. Can you give me a feel for when we might see launches of the SLS system itself. Absolutely, so the first launch of SLS is called EM-1, and that's gonna be in December of 2019. So just next year, about two years away. Coming up. That's gonna send Orion, an unmanned Orion, around the moon. We're gonna do some, uh, some science to gather data on both the performance of the rocket, the per performance of Orion, performance of the parachutes, and all the other systems, so that we can get ready for our first crewed mission in about 2022, in the early 2020s, so again, with SLS and Orion. 
And that first crewed mission will be uh, an orbital flight, maybe go around the moon at some point? Yes, absolutely. It's in the vicinity of the moon, cis-lunar space, um, to gather information about how Orion performs with humans on board, uh, to test out our guidance navigation and control systems, and to ultimate, ultimately prepare for uh, our journey to Mars with humans in the 2030s. Fantastic. Well, Jared, I appreciate your time. Uh, I'm really pushing for this system. I want to see uh, the U.S. back in, in deep space, and with your help, I'm sure we'll get there. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.